Hello everyone. Now I'm going to show you like how I think when I tie a certain fly, when I develop a fly. Uh, this is far from saying that I'm the originator of this fly. Probably someone tied something similar. So this is just an idea I came up with uh, last night. So I wanted to tie an emerger. And as we all know, emergers are low laying insects, usually half or even more of the bodies submerged in the water. So they are very easy prey for the trout. So everything below this needle should be in, in the water and everything above is like for you to see and to track. Uh, there is also some foam here to help it float better. Uh, trailing shock over here, uh, olive body, a little bit of legs and all that a certain emerger should have. So on this is how I, my thoughts were going on. So I wanted to develop, develop something that floats well. Usually those emergers, when they get slimy, they tend to sink. And uh, I don't like that because here in China where I fish, sometimes we get a lot of fish uh, and they, they, the CDC gets easily slimed and then you have to change the fly to dry it. And it's sometimes boring to do that. Uh, good thing is those, those uh, fish, they don't have teeth. So whatever I put here, like foam or whatever, it's gonna stay uh, intact for a longer period of time. So I don't bother if my, my fishery is going to destroy the fly. It's not. So, uh, first of all, I put a trailing shock as I usually do on my emergers with a little dubbing ball that's come out. Then I have body that's coming out of this trailing shock. And then I have a little bit of legs, wings, and this little piece of foam is supposed to imitate a body as well and help it float better. But I was not uh, happy how it looks like because it's, it's a bit weird shape. And when I put it in the glass of water and uh, tapped my finger on it, it sunk immediately after the CDC was uh, saturated with water. So my second solution was a little bit different. Like this. So here we are. I'm still having a trailing shock that's like similar to, to the previous one. It's not uh, positioned lower in the hook, it's higher, somewhere somewhere like half the way up the hook. So I just comb it out, I got this trailing shock that's uh, translucent, a little bit shiny. Then I added a little bit of green dubbing here. And then I have the body that's trying to get out of the shock. Um, you know when uh, insects are emerging and transforming, they actually wiggle out of their previous body and they're trying to release and let it go away until they transform on the surface. It somehow looks like, uh, you know, those chubby chicks that are trying to get in or out of those tight pants, so they're struggling to get in or out. So this is more or less the same thing. So this body, represents chubby chick or our insect and uh, we are trying to uh, imitate that uh, half bent body in a struggle that's very easy to eat so trout is probably gonna eat this very very willingly and here i wanted to add some legs but i made a mistake so i didn't add as much as i wanted so it doesn't look so nice uh, wings are here for you, I'd say more for me than for the fish because like from this point of view there's not much to see so fish is not gonna see a lot of these wings so it's not that important and there is some body as well here that looks like it's coming out of a shack so fish is not going to see all the length it's just gonna see the silhouette and so the the the, the real length of our foam is not actually the, the real length of the insect it's longer but it doesn't seem that long which is the point because it will add buoyancy so the final result would be this so same thing here as you can see we have trailing shock a little bit of more distinct body better done and then more legs and still I have some wings and this is supposed to be in the water more or less like this. Okay, I'll give some photos or even video of this in the in the glass. So this is my 
let's say almost final version of this emerger and now let me show you how i tied it because it's quite simple and it's quite it's it's very easy to tie and i'm quite sure that it's gonna be a real fish catcher the only downside i can see uh, is uh, quality of foam the foam is going to be is going to last a couple of fish i guess but i think it's very very worth tying because we use a lot of us tie foam flies and we don't mind that trout are actually destroying them quite easily so secure the hook in the wise and start your thread now you can start it near the eye which is quite okay because we are not using the whole hook we are actually hiding hook in the trailing shock okay now what I need to do is I need to, to imitate that trailing shock so I'm going to use because this is BBO I'm going to use this medium olive color and ginger variant color mixed together so I'll just pinch out a little bit of ginger and a little bit of olive and a little bit of ginger whatever just pinch it out like a couple of times and then you can mix it in your fingers like so just to to mix those two colors together usually I use this ginger color as my trailing shock but because this is olive I want to keep that olive shade as much as I can so I'll just put a little bit of dubbing here you can see it's not tightly dubbed so just keep it here like in the spot you can notice that I'm going in one spot with it then go with your thread wraps away from it and use your comb or whatever you have like this is velcro and comb out the trailing shock and as you can see it's like quite easy and in my previous video about emerger i explained why i did it this way because this part here is gonna represent the thorax part and the head of a trailing shock so it's the, th the th thickest one and the least uh, translucent one as well so I'm gonna just cut it to length that I think the emerger should have the shock should have which is more or less the same length as the insect I mean it's a little bit maybe even shorter so this is it now I'm, I'll use the same medium olive for the body but prior to that I'll attach a little bit of foam so the foam is I guess two millimeters by two millimeters I burnt it a little bit and I shaped it in my fingers like so and and now when I got that edges a little bit burnt down I can tie it in like so so tie it in and go all the way to the to the trailing shock and you can tie it in very very tightly because you need this to be squeezed down so you can cover it with your dubbing the the antron I said so now this antron you can dub it as tight as you can because you need very thin layer of it just to cover up this part nothing else so it's just cover up hiding the thread wraps and hiding the foam and it's gonna imitate the body of the fly so press it down and now when you reach the area when you want to where you want your thorax to be okay I spent all my dubbing now I'll add some dubbing for legs and I'm going to dub it also like softly dub it softly because you need those legs to to show and to be able to come out a little bit easier so I'm dubbing it in one spot as you can see now I'll make a loop with this like so so you'll need probably like one or two flies to decide how much you want this to be and now with rather soft wraps just do it like this attach the foam what I like to do is I like to go in front of it a little bit here like so uh, to 
prevent it from spinning around. And what we need to do is to attach any feather that you have, CDC feather. So you can use like the, the worst quality you can find in your box or bag, whatever you keep it in. Measure it, like body length, whatever. It's going to be just for you, not for the fish. So tight on the foam here. Tight in a little bit firm, but not too firm because you're gonna, okay, this slipped a little bit. So I'm gonna, I need to stay, okay, sorry. I need to stay away from the eye of the hook here. So I have to go a little bit back. Never mind. So tie those wings here. You saw that I just used one wrap. And now use a little bit more dubbing. It's squirrel mixed with UV. I forgot to say that, but it's usually what I use. So as you can see, it's again very, very loose, loosely dubbed. And I go behind, I want these two pieces of CDC to stay together. So like this and like this. And now that's it. Now be careful when you're tying the foam because if you squeeze the foam too much with your fingers uh, during tying process or when you release the fish or wherever, the foam will lose those bubbles inside and it's gonna be prone to sinking. So you want to keep your foam as intact as you can because it's gonna last longer. So cut this, cut this, so you use the whole feather, you doubled it, so you have double amount of the CDC feather. And now I'm just gonna use my lighter, so protect your fly, just burn this a little bit, it's like completely optional, and that's it. You have your fly finished. And this is an emerger uh, that goes under the water, like, like, let me show this again. So everything uh, under the needle is in the water. Then we have the body trying to get out of the shuck, which is here, uh, leaning on the water film and trying to develop wings and everything else. So we have like the complete emerger with the shuck. Now let me show you how it works in the water. And as you can see, there is a there is foam above the water and body under the water. And this is the first version, the one I'm touching. And if you can see, like, if I push it down, okay, it's gonna sink. Even it has a bubble on it. But look at this one here. Let me put the foam a little bit down in the water surface level. So what can we see here? We can see that trailing shuck is there and there is a body trying to get out and a little bit of wings emerging, okay, and holding it. So I'll push down, I'll push down and it will go up. And even like this submerged, it still looks like struggling insect that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna try to float uh, to the surface and uh, uh, fight for its life so even if you if it's like under the water you can't see even the wings like if it gets saturated with water as you can see it's swimming upwards so it's very very buoyant and uh, you will see the fish take your fly even though you don't see your fly so I think this is quite interesting and it can be very interesting for fishing this is the previous one and we can even see the bubble caught here in the middle of the foam. So that's also helping your fly to float and go out. I'll try to pierce the bubble with my needle. So as you can see, it's still near the surface. So almost like a dry, but after a few false casts, it's going to be with wings out of the water. Uh, what you can do to make it a little bit riding upwards, use a little bit thicker foam maybe, uh, and uh, maybe better quality foam. This is Hairline's foam, so I think it's quite good. And uh, just 
use a little bit thicker if you want but I like it this way because it's like almost completely submerged I mean just the tips of the feather is touching the water film and that's it and actually this is how those insects struggle to, to pierce through this water film this is like the most dangerous phase of their lives so when they manage to do that it's like halfway uh, done for them they just need to dry out and uh, have some fun time guys thank you very much for watching i hope to you that you like this video and see you next week